Hey, how's it going? I am doing great today. I'm feeling good. And in this vid, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, coming to the place in your life where you just are ready to humble yourself and allow God to heal a lot of the shortcomings that are in your life. Right? And this could be for any kind of recovery that's going on in your life. You know, whatever you could be recovering from, you know, could just be struggling with thoughts of uh, guilt shame, things like that in your life, uh, you know, trauma. But a lot of times what comes along with that is some kind of an addiction, you know, maybe like a food addiction, alcoholism, drugs, um, and even uh, something that's kind of new, uh, like a porn addiction or a sex addiction. But because of the internet now, you know, there's you can view lots of pornography and it's, uh, you know, high speed. So that's becoming uh, a fairly common an addiction among um, many, many men and also some women. So, you know, when you're recovering, this is a step that you in will end up coming to of where you've kind of looked at some of the shortcomings in your own life and you've identified that, hey, look, you know, I have some of these shortcomings in my personality that I don't like, right? Like, uh, like maybe you get angry. Maybe you get angry. Maybe you judge people a lot. Uh, maybe, you know, you, you like you fly off the hinges and you just get angry. And uh, maybe there's something about your personality like that. It's kind of, in a way, a negative character trait. And it just seems to hang around and, you know, maybe you're always feeling guilty about yourself. But whatever that is, we have to realize that, you know, it's God that is going to heal this. Because if we knew how to heal it, if we knew how to, you know, get rid of that, we would have already have done it. And that's kind of the problem is that we think that we know how to. So, the step is coming to a place where we humble ourselves. And this humbling is really just a place where we're allowing God, we're saying that, hey, look, I don't know what to do here. God, show me. God, I'm asking you to take this from me. You know, I see that I have this and this and this going on. I see, you know, I don't like when I get angry. I don't, I don't like to be that way. But God, I'm going to humble myself, and I'm going to kind of move into a place of not really knowing what to do here, not knowing how to take this, and I'm going to trust that you can take this from me. If I'll only trust you and, and place this in your hands and stop, really just kind of stop worrying about it, and stop thinking that I can do, you know, things to, to overcome this doing neurotic things, you know, and that's kind of what it turns into. We begin to do neurotic things to try to overcome these negative character defects. But that's the thing. That's the, the kind of the mystery and the miracle about it is that God is the one that is going to come in and remove this for us. If we will allow it, if we move into that space of that, that centered space, that's where we're wanting to move. And that's just a place where we begin to trust. And we begin to really just let our hands off of the things in our life that we think that we know how to control. And, you know, thinking that we know how to overcome these things ourselves. Thinking that we know how to handle these things. And to, to the mind, it kind of doesn't seem like the logical step in a way. But that's where we want to move. And when we begin to move in that way, we begin to free ourselves up. And when, it, when we free ourselves up, then we, begin, we can open ourselves up to begin to receive more thoughts that are coming from our higher power, that are coming from God. And when we open ourselves up to begin, and I like to call it the Holy Spirit, I'm opening up to the Holy Spirit so that I can begin to receive 
the thoughts that I need and the identity of who I am to replace these things that are going on. And maybe when I'm in a, in a temptation to either give in to my addiction that I'm struggling with or even, uh, you know, one of these character defects, I can turn to this and I can practice giving it over to God, right? And when I practice that, I'm practicing giving it to God to heal it and not myself trying to do it by my own willpower, right? Because when I continually do that, I seem to continually keep falling. Seem to continually keep falling. So let me read this quick part. And this is just one little paragraph here. And this is out of uh, one of my books here with the 12 steps. And this is actually the step seven. It's humbly asking God to remove our shortcomings. The preceding steps gradually bring us to a realization that our character defects, the flaws of our shortcomings, and our personality have caused us a great deal of suffering throughout our lives and prevented us from completely aligning ourselves with God, with God's will for us. When we become entirely ready to have these self-destructive aspects of our character removed, we then ask God to do so in this step. Whenever we ask for this help, we invite God into our lives in a new way. See, that's what we're doing. We're inviting God into our life in a new way. So really, this is just about self-honesty. It's about being realistic, about being honest about where we're really at. And in that honesty... That is, that's a humility, that's being humble. It carries a, you know, an air of humbleness about it. And when we do that, we're kind of setting our pride down that thinks that it knows what to do. Or continually going down the same path we were going because that wasn't working. And we're opening ourselves up to seeing it in a new way. And hopefully, if we're really opening up to God here, he's going to show us and he's going to heal us here he's going to remove these shortcomings and here's another little part here before i end the video it says we also discover that our character defects can become useful in god's hands our struggles with our own shortcomings help us to understand and empathize with the struggles of others right so it can help us it can help us when we go through this, you know, and we recover from this. Then we can see what others are dealing with. And we, we have more empathy for others. We have more understanding from uh, of what others are going through. And not so quick to judge or get upset with what they're doing. Because we understand that, hey, they're struggling with something, right? So, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to read here, but thanks so much for watching the vid, and I just really hope, you know, I like to just bring this spontaneous light and goodness of God that I feel in my heart, and just share, just share whatever's on my heart, and I think if we do that, if we open up and we just share what's on our heart in whatever way, God's going to bless it, and it's going to bring forth much fruit. So I pray you leave blessed wherever you're at, whatever time you're watching this video. And may many blessings be on your life and much healing be on your life. So God bless you. Love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.